All right, guys, so this week I am going to be showing you my newest kayak trailer. A lot of you guys have been requesting to see it once I finish the build. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can build one of these. Now, over the past five or ten years, these fishing kayaks have gotten heavier and heavier because there's so much new gear on the market. There's so much cool stuff you can add to your boats. And that being said, we're making our boats a lot heavier and you can't really, I mean, you can strip these down every time you want to go fishing to load it on the roof of your car or your SUV or your roof rack on your truck, but it's really a pain in the butt. So what people do nowadays is they build their own kayak trailers. You know, you can do it out of Harbor Freight trailers, old utility trailers, old jet ski trailers. And there's also a couple of companies on the market right now that make some really, really nice custom kayak trailers, but they are pricey. So if you're like me and you want to kind of save some money and you like to do it yourself, today I'm going to show you how you can build your own for hundreds, not thousands, but hundreds of dollars. And I even partnered with a couple of companies to save you on some wheel packages for your trailer, your fenders, your lights and stuff like that. So today we're going to go in the garage. I'm going to walk you from one end to the other, show you how to build one of these and show you how you can save some money while doing it. Y'all stick around. <music> All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. If you are new here, and this is one of my first videos that you have watched, I've got a ton of stuff like this over on my homepage. So if you like this kind of content, be sure you go check it out. And if you do like what you see over there, hit that subscribe button. I upload new content every Thursday at 2 p.m. If you do subscribe, hit that little notification bell and you'll get notified every week when my new video goes up. So this trailer, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna grab another camera and I'm just gonna walk you all the way from the front to the back. I'm gonna explain how you can find these trailers, how you can build them, and where you need to go to buy the stuff you need. So if you haven't seen part one of this build, I, there is kind of a part one I uploaded a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here and it'll be at the end of this video. I'll put a, a card up so you can click it and watch that one. But in the last video, I ran the wires, I extended the front tongue. I'll show you guys how I cut the front tongue off and you can extend it, beef it up and make it kind of how you want it. And I think that's about all I did. I think I added these ratchet straps in the first video, but I'll go over all of that in today's video. But if you do want to see it, like I said, you can click the link after this video and go check out the part one kind of this build. So let me grab the other camera and we'll start at the front and I'll walk you through to the back. Starting at the very front, you can see that I extended the tongue. This is a two inch by two inch by four foot piece of square steel that I picked up off Amazon. It's designed for doing stuff like this. Everything that I share with you guys today, I will have a link below. So if you're wanting to do something like this, you can find links to everything that I, that I bought for this trailer down in the video description. So, but anyway, this is a four foot piece of two inch by two inch and I welded everything on on the other end. So I kind of started from scratch up here. It was just a piece of square tubing sticking off the front of this trailer. And I went with a new style hitch up here and it's it doesn't have the latch. As you can tell, I just got like, there, it's just a blank top and this pin actually goes under the ball when you put it on and you can put a little lock over it right here and it kind of secures it without having to fumble around with a latch. So that's new to me, I'm gonna try it out. If, if I change it, I'll let you guys know. So after that, I just added a seven pin plug, a couple of safety chains I picked up off Amazon. I'm trying out this new handle because the trailer's so light, you can kind of pick it up with this handle and I can pull it around the yard and stuff like that. Going on back, I added a thousand pound trailer jack. It's real cheap. Uh, it doesn't have to be a heavy duty one. Like I said, this trailer weighs nothing. So in the kayak, you know, it's not like it's a bass boat. So we can kind of just pick it up and do what we want, but it works out really well. Then I also found this spare tire mount. I picked it up off of Amazon as well. I'll link it with everything else. It's just a little standoff and it works perfect for carrying the spare tire. And I'm gonna go over the tires in just a minute. I'm gonna walk through the trailer because I really wanna tell you guys a lot more about the wheels and the fenders and stuff. So let me move past the wheel real quick and I'll show you. I built this little 
bump stop for the front. I just took some square tubing, welded it up at an angle, made me a little plate so I could bolt it to the trailer and slide it where I wanted it. And all I did was put a little foam here that I wrapped in some vinyl and the kayak kind of just pushes up to it. I put me a ratchet strap, kind of bolted it straight to the frame if I can show you here. And what I can do is when I load it up, I can wrap the, this around the tongue and then I can pull it and kind of ratchet it down. But you don't want to go too tight. I just do it to kind of snug it down. I get the looseness off. I can kind of undo it just like that. So it's not, it don't keep any pressure on it. It's not good to keep pressure on them anyway. So it's just for traveling. Moving on back, I added, and I'll overlay some uh, footage of it where it's connected to the truck, but these are lights. So when I got this trailer, it already had all of these holes in the frame and I wanted to do something cool with it. So I found these lights on eBay. They're designed to go around the headlights of a vehicle and they kind of strobe around for blinkers. So I put them in the frame behind these holes and I connected them to my blinkers. So as you can see, when I hit my blinkers, they kind of strobe down. Looks really cool. I just didn't want to plug these holes. I thought I'd do something cool with it and it worked out. Uh, this is just a little piece of plastic that I cut, mounted it here to give me somewhere to stand. Like if I'm in a steep boat ramp, and I'm having to stand on the trailer to pull the kayak up. I can have a good little spot to stand. It's nothing really fancy. Then on back, I just got some traditional LED running lights that come with the kit that I bought. Uh, got the whole kit off Amazon. It come with the two running lights and the two tail lights LED. Uh, it'll be linked below as well. I got these off of eBay. Couldn't find the link I wanted on Amazon. So it'll, there, I should, if I've got the eBay link, I'll share it below. But these are ratchet straps and they do sell them like this on Amazon, but you have to make sure you get the right length. So these are nine footers. So you need at least, I would say six foot to be able to go over your kayak and connect it to the other side and still be able to kind of tighten it down. But the way it works is it just bolts to your trailer. You can, you can ratchet it down just like that, tighten it down. And then when you want to loosen it up, you hit this red button and you pull up and it puts the slack back in. Well, push down, I'm sorry. Push down on it and then it gives you the slack. So, and I just got a pair of those going down the side. The other one's right here. I got the LED running lights. I mounted these flush with the trailer. I didn't want them hanging down because I do go through, I do some off-road stuff to find ponds and stuff and I didn't want to risk ripping my lights off. So as you can tell, I did mount them flush with the trailer so that it'd be harder for me to tear them up or you know, clip a hill or a stump or something. Moving on back, this is the part that everybody likes, is the EMT runners. Most people who build their own kayak trailers, and I'll pull the kayak off in just a minute and show you, but most people use PVC. And I use PVC, there's nothing wrong with it. You can use PVC if you want. Uh, it's a cheaper way to do it, but using EMT makes it way more custom. You can kind of set the height of your kayak. You can make it a little bit more permanent and it holds up a lot better and a lot longer. So what this is, this is two inch EMT and it's two 10 foot sticks that I put, I think 12 inches on center or 11, uh, whatever the Hobie space is between the two gunnels there is where I put the, the center. I kind of put a little bend at the back of them. I took them to my buddy's muffler shop and we just put like a little 20 degree bend and then I kind of kicked them out when I welded them just a little bit so they're not just coming straight off the bottom you know they're not going straight down they're kind of kicked out so and then all I did here was welded some little six inch plates I hope there's plenty of light here they're little six inch plates I welded them to the trailer and then I set my pipe up here and then I just kind of welded it around now I know that it's unsafe to weld EMT, so if you do it, make sure you wear a respirator or whatever. There are fumes that can hurt you off that. I think it's galvanized maybe, but just, you know, be safe, build it at your own risk. I also found these guys. These are caps, they're plastic end caps. I found them on Amazon and they are perfect for plugging the holes on the EMT. Now, I was gonna paint the, the runners, but since they're galvanized, the only places that will rust is anywhere you drilled or anywhere you welded. So make sure you paint that area. But I think I'm just gonna end up polishing these up really nice and putting a clear coat over them and just calling it done at that. And over here, 
I put some eye bolts in the trailer and they're to connect where my ratchet straps come over. Now your ratchet straps will not come with carabiners like this. They're gonna come with hooks. I highly, highly recommend if you're doing this, the first thing you do, cut the hooks off. Just cut the metal on the hooks and pull it off the strap and buy you some of these heavy duty carabiners I got off on Amazon, excuse me. I got them off Amazon and they work great. They lock on, that way if you hit a bump, if you just got a hook and you hit a bump and your kayak gives, it could come out and you could lose your kayak. You clip this on, you're not gonna lose it. So I got some heavy duty eye bolts going through the frame and that's about it for the trailer. So that gets us to the wheels and the fenders on this trailer build. Now I always get my wheels and my fenders from the same place. And the main thing that people ask me whenever I build these kayak DIY trailers, when they see them, they, they, the first thing they ask me is where are you finding those wheels and where are you finding those fenders? If you get online and you look for trailer fenders or trailer wheels, the main thing you're gonna find is the bigger ones for the heavy duty trailers. And you can usually only find the ugly, white you know wagon style trailer wheels and then you can get the black or the galvanized but it's really hard to find these nice chrome ones and a lot of us want to run these nicer ones to match our vehicle or match the trailer or you know whatever so the place that i found where i get all of my wheels is called wreckstuff.com you can go to their website they have a great menu a huge selection like say if you want to just go straight in there and you want to find 12 inch wheels the first thing you do is you just go to the menu you click on 12 inch rims or wheels you pull up that whole selection you pick out the rim you want once you pick out the rim it will suggest tires and they will actually mount and balance the tires for you if you want them to and ship them to your door so all you have to do is mount them directly to your trailer so that is where i go to get all of my center caps my wheels my lug nuts everything you need for your trailer go there put it in your car and use promo code kayak usa all one word use that at checkout and that is good for the entire year of 2022 it will save you 10 percent off your purchase so you can go there right now click on their website link in the video description below use that promo code and it will work for you right now so that is where i get my wheels where i get my fenders is kind of the same company but it's two different websites so their company is called trailer-fenders.com so if you go to their website you can do the same thing. You can kind of choose the style you want. You can go from a tandem axle or a single axle. You can choose plastic, metal, diamond plate, aluminum. And once you drop, you know, start picking those selections out on their website, it'll filter it down until you find exactly what you want. What I went with was a plastic 13 inch wheel fender. And the reason I went a little bit bigger, I went with a 12 inch wheel and a 13 inch fender is because I like them to kind of hug the, the wheel better. And it keeps me, I go down a lot of dirt roads and stuff during the spring and I'll sling a lot of mud. And I, if you go with a bigger fender, it'll help you from getting it all over your gear and getting it all over your kayak and stuff like that. So if you're wanting this exact setup that I'm running, I'll link or I'll share the names of what I used below in the video description so you can check that out and go get, you know, if you want to do it exactly like this, you can go there and get them off their website. The wheel setups are amazing though. They've got a huge selection at uh, wreckstuff.com, but also trailerfenders.com. You can use the same promo code, same 10% off the full year of 2022. You can go there, it's activated right now, so you can go do it now. But if you want that exact setup, I'll share it with you below. So that is where I go to get all of my wheels, all of my fenders. I hope that answers everybody's questions. And I get another question a lot about this trailer is why I built it the way I built it. So. A lot of people, like I've built a lot of trailers, you know, with the J hooks for the kayaks and stuff like that. But what I like to do is, since this kayak has gotten so heavy, I've gotten so much gear on this thing. I like, if I have the option to back my kayak into the water and launch it like a bass boat, like if there's a boat ramp there, I'm definitely gonna go that route. I'm gonna back it in, launch it just like a bass boat. But if, I, if there's not a boat ramp, if, I, if I'm like at a pond in the mountains or you know somewhere else, I can still use this trailer and just fold down my boondocks in the back and slide it right off in the parking lot and, and wheel it down to the water if I have to. So that's the reason I went with this style. That's the reason I don't have a bunch of stuff on it. I've built them with rooftop tents. I've built them where you can haul four or five kayaks before, but this one specifically is built just for this kayak and it is so that I can launch it by myself at a boat ramp with no problem. So that's why I did that. All right, y'all, I hope this video helped you out. I hope if you're building your own kayak trailer that you was able to watch this video and get something out of it. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, if you're new, 
go check out my homepage. I got a lot of cool builds. I've built a lot of different style trailers like this. So if you're into something else, if you're wanting to haul multiple kayaks, I've got old trailer builds on that and stuff on my channel. Go check it out. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thank you, wreckstuff.com and trailerfenders.com for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Y'all go check them out. Check out their website. Get you some nice setups. If you do end up using their websites to buy their stuff and you build a trailer, email me at kayakusa311 at gmail.com. Send me some pictures of your build. I'd love to see them. I'd like to share them on my Instagram channel and stuff like that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Give me a follow over there. I, I make a lot of photos and stuff when I do these builds prior to the videos. So I think I've been sharing pictures of this build for the last couple of weeks on my Instagram. So a lot of you who follow me there have already kind of seen this setup before. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.